Welcome to Comedy Global. I'm Anjana and let's know why DRDO's Agni P missile is a nightmare for India's adversaries. China had established itself as a major nuclear power by the 1960s, aided by Russia, but bilateral relations deteriorated over time. India then sought to create confidence in its citizens about its safety. India also needed to send a strong message to world leaders about its nuclear readiness. The world community was outraged when India tested its first nuclear test at Pokhran in the early 1970s. In 1989, India developed and tested the Agni-1 missile, which has a range of 1,000 kilometers. Since then, the country has certainly progressed. India is now working on Agni-6, the sixth missile in the series which will have a range of 10,000 kilometers. The Defense Research and Development Organization developed Agni in 1989 and it was an instant success. It was deployed by the then government to improve international perceptions of the country's defense capabilities. India realized the enormous utility of Iraqi missiles and the mechanical competence of the scientists who designed them after the invasion of Kuwait by Iraq during the Gulf War of 1991. The war, which lasted less than a month, saw the Iraqis launch Scud and Frog missiles, the World War II weapons, into neighboring nations, Saudi Arabia and Israel, which were countered by SAT-guided Patriot missiles. The war became a lesson in the significance of continuing to develop Agni to meet international standards. Now, what is Agni? Agni is a ground-launched surface-to-surface -surface missile that can strike targets on land and at sea. It may be launched from handguns or ground installations and it can be mounted on vehicles or ships. The launching platform is often powered by a rocket engine or an explosive charge because it is either stationary or moves slowly. Although hypervelocity or short range missiles may use body lift or fly a ballistic trajectory, Agni missiles features thus or wings for lift and stability. India, a newcomer to the list of countries that have tested long-range missiles, has made a massive step forward in the development of the Agni series. The Agni 5, which was just introduced as a range of 5,000 kilometers, it's a ballistic missile that can hit Beijing and practically all of China's main cities. Considering the series progression and efficiency, Agni 1 has a range of up to 1,000 kilometers, Agni 2, 2,000 kilometers, Agni 3, 2,500 kilometers, and Agni 4, over 3,500 kilometers, and may be launched from a mobile launcher. Agni 5 is categorized as an intercontinental ballistic missile with a range of 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers, while Agni 6 is classified as a MIRVE warhead with a range of 8,000 kilometers to 10,000 kilometers. The circular error probable CEP of the Agni 3 is in the 40 meter region, making it the world's most accurate strategic ballistic missile and increasing its skill efficiency. This missile has a range of 3,500 kilometers and can carry 1.5 tons of warheads. Agni 4 is equipped with a ring laser gyro and composite rocketed motor developed in-house. It is 20 meters long, weighs 17 tons and is propelled by solid propellant. Agni-5 is India's first intercontinental ballistic missile capable of reaching a range of over 5,000 kilometers and weighing up to 49 tons. Its missile system with canister launch serves launch time, increases storage capacity and simplifies management. It's also made of high quality composite materials, making it a lightweight system. Agni-6 is still in the testing phase. The latest Agni missile can hit targets over 10,000 kilometers away and can be launched from a submarine. Agni-P, a more sophisticated model with enhanced characteristics, maneuverability and accuracy was tested in December 2021. It has a canister, a range of 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers, is half the weight of Agni-3 and new propulsion systems with guided systems. It also incorporates Agni-4 and Agni-5 technology. This is Anjana signing off. Do like and share this video. For further updates, subscribe to Comedy Global.